Amid South Africa's worst energy crisis in history, a cabinet minister is touting SA's lofty hydrogen goals. Higher Education, uh, Science and Technology Minister Bladen Zamande says a planned corridor will kickstart South Africa's move to alternative energy solutions. Yeah, the hydrogen valley will cost an estimated 1.2 billion US dollars running from Limpopo through Gauteng to the KwaZulu Natal coast. Zamande says tens of thousands of jobs will be created annually. He raised a venture in Cape Town where the Energy Observer is promoting clean and sustainable solutions. Here's our reporter, Erin Bates, with more. It's a world first. This zero carbon catamaran runs on hydrogen gas, wind energy and solar. In other words, she's a floating autonomous smart grid. So we take the seawater, we desalt it, then we electrolyze the seawater to produce, you know, to, to split the hydrogen and the oxygen. We just keep the hydrogen. So when we are, you know, when we need some more energy, uh, we store the, this energy in form of hydrogen. It docked in Cape Town's harbor on Saturday. The 80th stop in its round-the-world trip began in 2017. The private French vessel is a showcase of alternative energy in action, which can run everything from boats to cars, even power up a whole community. This system, <coughs> its first application is for villages, farms, uh, isolated uh, sites, um, of course, but it can be organized in uh, neighborhoods, even in cities. Higher Education Science and Technology Minister Bladen Zamande stepped aboard on Monday. He highlighted plans to cut SA's carbon footprint. We are quite focused as a country in becoming one of the major producers you know, of uh, hydrogen fuel cells. Nzimande touted an ambitious project in the works. The hydrogen valley from Limpopo to Durban and in that valley we will actually be producing a whole variety uh, of things that we use uh, powered by hydrogen fuel cells. France's incoming ambassador gave ventures like this his seal of approval. The French government has committed to up to 1 billion euros to accompany uh, South Africa in its transition. So, uh, and again, the personal commitment from the French president to support uh, Energy Observer is another sign that we, it, it's a project that we, uh, uh, we, found, uh, we, we find extremely uh, significant. Local player Sassol is funding hydrogen studies for application on home soil. As a company that truly loves hydrogen, Sassol recognizes its potential and has been actively investing in research, development and commercialization of efforts re related to green hydrogen technology. We also understand that the magnitude of the challenge we face requires collaboration and partnership. We believe that partnerships are critical in this journey to decarbonize South Africa, particularly if we were to do so in a manner that recognizes our country's developmental needs, specifically the need to protect and foster employment. Several features on board the Energy Observer have been patented as its engineers fine-tune their technology. They have ambitions of their own, upscaling to a fully operational cargo ship powered by hydrogen liquid. We want to promote the second step to operate for a route, a typical route of this, uh, this boat, this container ship, uh, 155 meters long, and we want to, uh, to carry out some feedback in order to prove that hydrogen is a reality now. But first, a public exhibition of this craft at the V&A waterfront. It's open to the public, including learners, free of charge from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. until Saturday. After some maintenance in the harbor, it's up the west coast to Namibia, the next destination in the Energy Observer's penultimate year at sea on this maiden tour. For Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, I'm Erin Bates in Cape Town.